So the last thing that Dei Verbum touches on, or at least the last thing we're going to talk about besides inspiration, is the idea of inerrancy. It says, therefore, since everything asserted by the inspired authors or sacred writers must be held to be asserted by the Holy Spirit, it follows that the books of Scripture must be acknowledged as teaching solidly, faithfully, and without error that truth which God wanted to put into the sacred writings for the sake of salvation. Therefore, all Scripture is divinely inspired and has its use for teaching the truth and refuting error, for re reformation of manners and discipline in right living, so that the man who belongs to God may be efficient and equipped for good work of every kind. What does that mean? Well, basically the idea of inerrancy has a couple parts. Everything in the Bible is there because God willed it to teach truth and to help our salvation. So it teaches truth for the sake of helping our salvation. And it's God himself who is the author. That goes back to the inspiration part, that God is moving people through their free choices to use their talents to say certain things. So I want to give you a few kind of brief definitions here. And uh, the first would be inerrancy. So the belief that the Bible includes all and only those things God wished to say in it to teach us the truth so that we might be saved. And, you know, one of the things that we're first going to uh, look at in our class uh, has to do with um, alleged contradictions in the Bible, different styles of writing, Genesis and science, uh, and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to kind of flush this topic out a bit more. Secondly, inspiration, the belief that God moved human authors using their human talents to write what he wished them to say. And finally, summing up sacred scripture, the Bible, it is the definitive and inerrant collection of the inspired writings. All right, so there we have it.